Yep. All right, you guys, good morning. Good afternoon. We are on the move, and today's location isn't gonna be as fun as the last couple. We are actually moving to get hauled out. Super windy, gusty day, but at least we have wind. The bottom job needs to be done on this boat. It's been two years since the crack, right? Pretty much exactly two years. I think we were in the boat yard right now, two years ago, fixing the crack, yeah. So most of the bottom pane is worn through. It's pretty bad down there. It should take us only about 14 miles, which we're gonna be beating into it and tacking. And the current is at least one and a half knots uh, going the opposite direction. And I can feel it right now. I feel like it's, I feel like right now we're at a hitting a wall because there is some wind pumping through here, but we're going 3.2. Yeah. I mean, I, we don't have a windometer, an anometer, anometer, anometer so we didn't, can't tell, but from the forecast, it's saying it's at least 20, 15 to 20 with the bigger gusts, but we're literally 2.9. It just went down. Do you feel it stopping? Yeah. Oh man, I might have to take off a little bit. So this is gonna be a, it's gonna take us all day just to go that short little distance. But it'll, uh, it'll be a good sailing practice day. Sailing away. Bo says I have a voice like an angel. <laughs> like an angel. Like an angel. We were just talking about how we felt like Sir Shoes to be a really big boat. And now, I mean, we had no reference, right? But now, since we've been out here and we've been on other people's boats and hanging out with people, she just feels so small, right? Yeah. We always thought, well, you know, for our first starter boat, 35, we could handle a 35 footer. She's only, what, 10 feet beam? Yeah. 10 feet wide. Nine and a half of the feet is right here in the cockpit. We have a massive cockpit, but I don't know. I don't know if we need more. If you had a boat or have a boat, what size is your boat? What kind of boat size would you want? We would be interested to hear. It may look awfully like we're heading towards land. <laughs> There's actually a very tiny little anchorage in here that we could squeeze into and we wanted to, but then we got word we were able to get hauled out. So instead we're skipping here and heading on. But right now we're actually trying to tack to get closer to land, hoping that there's not as much current because man, it is strong out there. The waves are nowhere near as strong in here as well. So hopefully it'll help us gain a little bit of traction, but Tacking back in, we're going backwards, so it's... Hopefully we won't have to tack too much, but... I mean, we're heading right into it, so... And by heading into it, I mean the wind is coming from the direction we need to go. Our prediction was correct. I think I saw us going about 5-2. Yeah, it's 4-4 four, four right now. 4-4. Four, four. Mm -hmm. And Wilson's able to keep up, so... 4-7. Oh, I don't know if the wind changed, but I think we're... Whatever it is. I think there's less current yeah. in here. It doesn't feel like the current. I don't think we're going to get so lucky when we round this corner, though, because right now there's kind of a little bit of a bay. So I think it's the current's more on the outside, but when we round the corner, there is no bay. <laughs> there's no bay. It's the it's, island is blocking it. Yeah, yeah, so basically we're gonna be like right into it again.
The wind is on and off today. <laughs> right Somebody's now it's, got their finger on the fingers on the light switch. Yeah, it's right now it's off. It was on just a minute ago, but it just keeps dying and picking up. So it's the gusts are too heavy for the big boy and the lulls are too light for the little lady. So we're just I don't know. It's gonna take us a while. We might just have to motor when the gusts or when the lulls happen. Like right now. Well, right now Bo is up front letting out the little lady and putting up our big boy, which is our 150%. It's just we've lost wind, but when we get gust, hopefully we'll be fine. We'll just stand behind the wheel and or stand behind the helm and take over. Let Wilson take a break. But I still think that the closer to the island we are, the better. So I'm just kind of putting us back over there at the moment while he's changing this stuff out. We actually have a reef in the main as well, so we're gonna shake that out and really hope that that helps because if not, it's gonna be like midnight before we get in. I had to take down the big boy because the seam came undone on the, uh, the leech. I think it's the leech. Um, so now, and we were actually making good progress with the big boy. We were doing what, five, six? six? Yeah. But now we'll just have to take it slow and steady. It is dusk and we're still two and a half miles away. Still an hour and a half. It's been an hour and a half to last three hours. I think we go one mile every hour. That's about our speed. Because the wind's kind of light and this the little lady is, is not enough sail right now. I'm almost debating on putting the, the 180 out. The Mac Daddy. But probably too much sail. The 150 would have been perfect. So we're not gonna get in until probably eight o'clock. That said, there's gonna be zero light. So we'll leave it right here and we'll talk to you guys later. We'll hit you up when we get in. Some morning divers taking a peek at the reef that's growing underneath Sersha, I'm sure. They're just checking out the reef. The Sersha reef? The Sersha reef. <laughs> well guys, I'm sorry. We did say we were gonna check back in with you after we landed last night, but we were exhausted. These tiny little day trips are more exhausting than our three-day trips, our longer trips, don't you think? I'd say they're more frustrating because we're trying to get in, you know, before sunset, and when it doesn't happen, it's it's frustrating. So that Look. that can be exhausting. Look at this anchorage. I wish we could stay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty here. Uh, there's a reef back here. I guess a big old drop off that is supposed to be really pretty to dive. But it's really cool because we could just go rent the equipment right here and pop in the water and head on out. Man, this is a really cool place. You about ready to get going? Yeah.
going to raise some anchor. Okay. Yeah, this was just going to be a quick stop off because we couldn't make it in last night. And we knew from our friends who had been here before on wind sailing that it, we knew that it was all sand. It was going to be easy to anchor in. And you literally could see just sand last night with the flashlight. It was great. Um, we just had a couple balls that we had to watch out for about outside of that and the little fisher boats. But there was a lot of uh, light off of the coast that we were able to see. So it wasn't too bad of a landing. It was just... We were so exhausted. We ate and crashed. But now, on to the haul out. Let's do this. We can do this. Like all things sailing, Things never go to plan. It looks like we might go off to port. Eh, doesn't matter. Just drifting back to get away from these little tiny boats and hopefully, maybe we'll go starboard. Looks like it might be inching. Oh yeah, look at that. We're swinging, are you gonna raise the head? Yeah. Okay. Let's clear this boat first. Okay. Oh yeah, yay, go on starboard. I have to say that today's sail is much better than yesterday's. Not in the better aspect of it being a prettier day or anything, but the wind is a lot more consistent and we are doing between three and a half to four knots, so much better than yesterday. Better, right? Yeah, our angle is a little, it's not as tight. We were pointing this? too much. Our angle isn't as, close to the wind, so we are going out to sea a little more, but hey, as long as we can keep this speed, we'll just tack in, do a bunch of tacks. Hopefully we'll get there in a couple hours. The tacks have been so much better today. We're actually making progress, so. I think we just hit a wall, though. <laughs> We're kind of standstill right now, so we oh, should yeah. tack. Probably should tack. We're pretty close to land, yeah. but this is our tack from today. Much better. Made it into the bay, safe and sound. I just texted them to let them know. You let them know? Well, We're on our way. Minutes, I let them know. And well, the marina is right there, but it's pretty quaint in here. It's very quiet. underdeveloped. It's wow. basically just his marina and nature. 
really cool. I wonder if this is kind of a hurricane hole. I could see it being a hurricane hole. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty protected. But let the work begin. <laughs> Any of you guys want to come help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stay to your starboard or to your port and stay close to that dock. I'll jump off onto the dock. You're going to kill the motor. You, okay, so when I go in, when I go in, you have any kind of like... I, I want you to go straight in, but keep yeah. more to the... I'm going to jump off and with the bow line ties up. If nobody's there. Holy macaroni! <laughs> My heart is like, Boo! I we just don't ink, we don't dock up ever, so we don't have the practice. Which this was obviously good practice, and it's a pretty big slip. I think it's um, I don't know, maybe tw I don't know, 15 feet, 22. I think they said maybe I don't. Know. Anyways, it was big enough. I don't know if I got any of that on on camera, but there was a guy here who helped us pull a line, and Bo jumped off. <sighs> I did it without hurting Sersha. <laughs> I'm so excited. But um, Bo just went to go check with uh, the office to see if the office manager's in. There is a boat already in the sling, so we we're just kind of wondering about that. Um, but hopefully tomorrow we will be able to get out into the yard to start all the dusty, fun work. <laughs> what you doing? Digging out some chafe guards because our dock lines are rubbing up against this metal here. <laughs> it's not going to last. And we're here all night. We're here all night. Tomorrow gonna, at 9. We're going to get hauled out and they're going to put us right there. <laughs> While Bo washes himself with a baby wipe. <laughs> baby wipes, guys. Sailor's dream. Not really. We are actually going to wrap up today. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning when we're hauling out. Just got to run across the street, get some groceries, and some moolah to pay this guy. <laughs> <laughs>